Hi, welcome to another quick tip from Think Creative TV. Hope that you enjoy this, and if you do, it'd be great if you could subscribe and click the like button below. But let's get started with our tip of the day. Okay, so Apple just dropped a cool new update to all of its iWork apps, pages, numbers, and Keynote, but let's take a look specifically at what changes are in pages and the new things that we can do with this. So I'm gonna jump into pages now, and instantly the first thing you notice is I jump in and I have this new edit button in the top. That's because it opens instantly now in reader view, and that means I can move through my document without the fear of changing anything, which is a great way to introduce a content to your students that you want them to be able to edit, but you don't want them to play around with it in the first instance. Think sharing a created interactive book with your students, but you want them to be able to look at it first without fear of moving any of the boxes. For example, if I go into edit mode and I tap on this box, I'm going to suddenly start moving things around and that's going to mess up how I interact with it. If I go to read a view, I could use this to just check out the content and then after the teacher might have introduced what I'm going to do with the content, I then know that's when I go to edit and that's when I add something in. So a really, really simple way to start to change how you use pages as an instructional, developmental, learning tool for your students. Just another great update for pages. Let's take a look at something else which is new as well. Have you ever wanted to put videos into your uh, books? Um, but maybe they're not necessarily your own videos, i.e. you want to borrow something from the internet. Well, now, if you tap on the plus, we have a new addition here, which is web video. So if I tap on this, I have the option to enter a URL. So let's say in this instance, this is a pages document about using numbers as a sketch noting tool. Well, do you know what? I've got a video on that, so I'm going to get that video. Hey, I'm going welcome to, share to and Think Creative that TV. Link. My name's Matt Pull. I'm going to jump into pages. I'm going to paste that in, and then it's going to tap insert. And now, in my book, I have that direct URL to uh, that video and it's going to embed directly in and I can play that within my document. So I don't have to hey, jump out, to I don't have to do anything Think else, TV. it just sits my name there nicely and plays and your host the document itself. for all things that I add in. really, really useful as you start to build things. And as Pages is now becoming that go-to place for making EPUBs, you can now start to embed videos directly into your work. So just a couple of updates to look at there. There are some other things, i.e. if I want to have captions around any pictures I might have added, or indeed a caption around this video, I can tap on the plus, uh, sorry, tap on the paintbrush, and I can start to think about the titles and the captions. And I can also do that on any uh, objects that I add in or pictures as well. So again, a really, really nice way to start to think about adding in captions and making sure that anything you add to your documents are accessible to all people. So there we go. Really, really simple things, but really, really powerful things that you can start to use in anything that you do. And one final thing to say, if I jump back into reader view, you'll notice that I can still play that video directly within the pages document. Have a go. It's going to change the way you utilize pages beyond a word processing device.